Hi, this is the video for KDD paper. Most of the recommended systems suffer a user could start problem. New users may leave when they receive poor recommendation at first. To improve recommendation performance, many systems present items and let the user select among the items they like. Based on the selected items, the system recommends the items to user. For convenience, we call the presented items evidence candidate. Despite effort to collect such evidence, there still exists for recommendation because only the small number of evidence is available. In this paper, to provide a better recommendation for a new user, we suggest a new recommender model. So we design a user preference estimation model, which shows good performance with only a few evidence. Furthermore, based on our model, we provide a better evidence candidate selection strategy to identify new users. To make the user preference estimation model with only a few evidence, we consider a meta learning. The meta learning is a recent machine learning method which can rapidly adapt to a new task with a few examples. This concept can be applied directly to the user could start recommendation. Like meta learning, a recommender system aims to identify new users with a few evidence. We call the proposed model Malu. Similar to a content-based recommender system, Malu accepts user profile and item information. Malu identifies the user based on the evidence. And finally, Malu suggests items that user may like. It shows the structure of user preference estimator. User profile and item content information pass the embedding layer, and we concatenate them. After that, we connect the concatenated layer to L layer fully connected neural network, and we call it the decision making layer and output layer. At this moment, you may not find the difference between existing deep content based recommender system. Now, we will show what's different. By using user's evidence, we update the waste in decision making and output layers. This process makes our model personalized model. After that, based on the user sector item consumption, we update the whole weight of our model. Like user 1, we conduct the same process for all users. These processes are inspired by the model agnostic meta learning. Thanks to the adoption of meta learning concept, our model can rapidly identify a user, although the user has a few evidence. Moreover, Melu allows us to select more reliable evidence candidates. We are focusing on the update for personalization. An item which has large backpropagation error determines the user's preference. Therefore, we can think that the larger average propenius norm of the gradient, the better distinction among user's preference. Based on this idea, we calculate the score to select evidence candidate for an item. We calculate the average propenius norm of the gradient. Like this, we calculate the average norm of all islands. Only using this score to select evidence candidate is not good because users cannot properly evaluate them. To distinguish a user's preference accurately, we consider the awareness of the items. To consider it, we assign the number of interactions of each item as popularity score. After that, we normalize the scores to range from 0 to 1. Then, we multiply them and assign the value as the final score of each item. With this score, we sort the item in descending order. Finally, we select that K item as evidence candidates. Based on our user study, replacing the item to our evidence candidate can identify your user prefers more accurately than popular items. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for watching this video.